Hello everyone, uh, this is a video on how I made a ski template and this is what you're going to use to flush trim your base material so that you can make two of the same ski. I first started off with a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood I then sprayed adhesive on a piece of paper and what I'm showing you here is I measured four and a quarter inches in this is different for every ski but that is where the widest point of my skis is going to be and then at that point I drew a perpendicular line to the edge of the paper and what I did from there is I took a ski my favorite ski in fact and centered it on both lines and then I copied the edge pattern so that the ski I'm creating will ride the same as the ski I just copied and then from there I took a jigsaw and cut out the uh, paper template on top be very careful with that because it is easy to go inside of it and then I sanded down to the line which I'll show you later however on my first ski I messed up on one of the edges so I'm repeating the process with the other edge so what I'm going to do is in this video since I only messed up on one edge of the skis of my original template I figured I'd still use my template as a sketch up so what I'm doing here is I'm drilling two holes on the center line of my template and then I'm going to drill those holes onto a new piece of plywood and then I'm put two, these are quarter inch holes, so I'm going to use a quarter inch pin and flip my ski over so I'll have perfectly symmetrical skis. What I'm doing here is I'm drilling out the holes for the pin hole locations that I put into my template. Now all that's really left to do is to take your past template if you're doing the same thing that I did. It would be much easier if you didn't mess up your edge on your original template. And then take your good edge, hammer through your pinholes, and uh, then make sure you have a really sharp pencil and sketch a really dark line right up on the edge. And then after that all you're going to have to do is take it and flip it over. And once it's flipped over, you just repeat the same thing on the other side, and you should have perfectly symmetrical skis when you're done. Next, once you have your lines, what you need to do is take a jigsaw or bandsaw and cut a long line. Make sure to leave, I don't know, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch of wood on the outside of the line, so you could sand down to it and make sure your skis are perfect. The final step in making your ski template is to use a belt sander with a fine grit or hand sand with a heavier grit down to your line. Once you're at your line, make sure your edge is continuous and make sure there's no up and downs in it, like a smooth curve. Here I am wiping off any extra dust that might have been on the wood in the sanding process. Finally. This is your completed product, and I'm going to try to show you what I mean by a continuous curve. Basically, you can't really tell that there's any up and down like waves, and that's what you want.